Welcome to Scorpio Wolf Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the fire sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. As always, the roles can be reversed, so take it as you see fit. Flip it as you see fit for your story. Uh, these readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to see and hear it is when you're meant to see and hear it. I've gone ahead and pulled the card for you, so let's get to your reading. So, the overall energy that I'm getting between you and your person is this of is the devil card. So, the devil is about addictions, you know, being addicted to one another. So, this relationship is kind of the energy it's given us is a very addictive and toxic relationship. Um, and and kind of what the what the universe wants you to know and understand, Leo, is, is that you know, you need to take this this relationship into moderations, into little bits and pieces. So you have to access, you know, what it's paying out, what it's giving you, uh, see how it's grown, how you two are growing with one another. Um, you could be addicted to the sex of the relationship, and just being addicted to one part of the relationship is not a good thing. So kind of keep that in mind as you're kind of going with this. the energy of this reading is that of addiction. So it's an addictive relationship. So what you, the energy that you guys are putting off is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a, in, in upright or in reverse. It signifies a, you know, a stalled message, a small stalled message of a problem. So I kind of feel that Elios are, have identified a problem with this relationship, but you haven't really mentioned it to your partner, to your significant other so maybe uh, i kind of feel that maybe this this it's this too focus on the sex part of it and you you're wanting to focus on the you know the romance part of it so it's kind of you're keeping something to yourself it's kind of it's kind of frozen you in your tracks and this is a you're kind of frozen in tracks overthinking something uh, aspect of this relationship so you don't want to say anything because you don't want it to end. So that's, you know, that's also an addiction of like dependency addiction too. Um, you kind of tend to be a know-it-all. You kind of think you want to, you know what, you know everything that's, you think you, you know everything about this relationship and everything that it involves. But what it's trying to tell you is that you're not a know-it-all. You don't know everything, all the aspects, unless you, you know your partner that, you know, well. And being addicted, being in a codependency relationship, which is, you know, also signified as the devil card, is keeping you from relaying that message of love, too. So, you kind of have a message of love that you're, you're not expressing, or not able to express, because of this toxic relationship. And also, you have a problem with this relationship that you're not able to express to your person, because you're overanalyzing, overthinking. Now, your person, on the other hand, is like... Is just smothering you with emotions. Uh, another addiction, addictive behavior is just smothering, and they're taking victory laps. They're they're taking they take pride in in probably telling their friends, "Hey, I give I gave late Leo this and that and all that." So they like to brag. They're being but uh, they like to be this. They're being the center of attention with amongst their friends, their and family members, because they they see that this. This relationship is a fiery relationship with Lee Leo, and they're and they're just boasting about it. They're they're smothering you. They're doing, you know, a little bit too much smothering. They're not letting you breathe, kind of. So that could probably could probably be, you know, that's a, also an addiction that you you know, uh, maybe they think they're the the sex is so good from them that they don't they don't need to do worry about any other part of the relationship, and they're taking that victory lap. Like yeah, yeah, I. I the sex with me and, and Leo is really good and, and so forth, so forth. Um, you know, all these addictions um, is not good in a relationship There's because it, there's there's no moderation of things. There's no, you need to moderate all the aspects of the love relationship you have with, with one another because, you know, smothering somebody, which is this uh, reverse Queen of Cups, you're they're smothering you with emotions, and you're you're in your head. You're you know it's like you don't want you like it. You don't you know you like it, but you don't like all of it, and you don't you're kind of paralyzed, and because you, you don't want this to end, and you think you know you, you think you know 
everything, but you know, you need to listen to advice from people. You need to let people in to understand what's going on, what your situation is, so they can give you proper advice. Don't think that you can, that you know everything about the issues with this relationship. You know, and also like, kind of see what this relationship is. You know, you gotta, you gotta look out there and look at your crops and see what, see what this relationship has shown. Has it shown, you know, a promising future? Does it show, you know, something that's just the one side dependencies? It's, it's, a, it's a time to analyze everything because right now you're stuck in fear. You're overanalyzing everything. You're stuck in fear of losing this relationship. But, and they're, they're triumphantly thinking, oh, this relationship is going really smooth. You know, I'm on a high pedestal. I'm on a horse. I'm being praised. You know, Leo loves me so much that I don't have to do anything. I don't have to work. I, I'm, I'm working. I'm sorry, not that I don't have to work, but, you know, I'm only going to give, I'm giving them all this and, so, you know, they're putting me on, on a pedestal here. So, Leo's, I kind of feel this This is kind of a hard reading. It really is a hard reading because the devil card is not a very good card to have in a relationship. It's not a good card energy to have between the two of you because it's addiction. So, one of the things they want you to understand is that they're starting to understand this connection with you. So, I kind of feel... With that, with that hidden message that they are starting to understand that the thing is that they're probably trying to understand that they're over smothering you because you're not giving, you're not telling them what's the issue. So they're probably going to, they're probably realizing that, you know, they're, they're over smothering of emotions towards you is causing them to not, and you not responding back and reciprocating a message, which pages are messages that you're not res you're not giving a message of love or you're not giving them a message of any problems. So it's kind of a red flag for them. And they're starting to understand like, maybe I am over smothering. Maybe I am over smothering just a little bit. And maybe I need to get off my high horse and, and uh, come in and talk to Leo's and try to get through this moderation and assess your current relationship. Uh, this is the time to reassess what you have. You know, if things aren't going well, it's time to, you know, plant better seeds or grow, find different ways to grow your crops or grow your relationship. So, again, this is a hard reading and I kind of try to get through it. And Leo's, uh, I'm very sorry, but that's, those are the cards you were dealt for this week. So, thank you for joining me this week. Um, if you like the way I've read, hit that subscribe button. Um, also, if, if you leave a uh, leak, hit that like button as well and leave a comment that I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you for joining me this week, Leo's, and have a great week. Bye.